Hi, I just wanted to, three, just want to take a couple of minutes just to talk you through your blended learning offer eh, that's in place for you for the next three weeks. So you've received lots of information in your Glow email eh, over the last couple of days, giving you a personalised timetable, um, your remote learning offer and explain to you exactly when you're in school. Okay, so when you're in school, you'll be in school for four days out of the next three weeks. Um, when you're in school, you'll be in three learning episodes a day. Um, so that's to reduce traffic and reduce uh, movement around the school. Um, the class sizes will be much smaller to ensure that we can have two metre social distancing at all times. So you'll be in classes of 10 instead of 20 or 30. Um, and for S1 and 2, it typically won't be your usual teacher. However, in S3, it possibly will be. Um, and we will be using alternative spaces as well. So it won't always be in classrooms. Sometimes it'll be assembly hall, maybe the theatre, the canteen. Um, and this is to allow us to um, put a couple of classes together um, whilst maintaining social distancing at all times as well. And over the three weeks, you'll be covering all your key um, subject areas as well. Okay, so when you're not in school, um, S1 and 2, your, learning offer, your remote learning offer is a wee bit different to S3s. Um, so you will have a full, learn, a full timetable uh, to follow with seven periods a day. Um, all of them are live lessons. So the Monday, Wednesday, Friday, um, it's live lessons all the time. So you're, there will be a teacher there. Um, giving you direction, instruction, uh, and a bit of direction there. Uh, these can be accessed on S1 Live or S2 Live teams, which have just been created um, in the last couple of days for you. These will be bigger classes. It's really important that you know that it's the whole year group in one lesson, so about 140 young people. So it's really key that you've got your microphone off and you're not using the chat function uh, unless you're invited to do so. Um, on the, the, a couple of days, either the Tuesday or the Thursday, when you're not in school, um, these will be independent task days, so it won't be live lessons. Instead, your teacher will be your normal class teacher will be issuing you tasks um, and setting them in your normal uh, Microsoft Teams. So basically, you'll be going in there, accessing a, a task completely independently, and sending it back to your class teacher. For S threes, it's slightly different. So similarity is that you've still got a full timetable, seven periods a day. However, your live lessons will make up 40% of your week. So it'll only be English, Maths, Languages and PE uh, where you actually have live lessons. Again, these can be accessed on uh, S3 live team, which is new. Um, bigger classes, again, whole year group, um, whole year groups within there. Again, keep your microphones off and only use the chat function when invited to. For the rest of the time, 60% so of the week that's left, it'll be independent tasks set by your teacher which you'll be accessing on your normal um, Microsoft Teams. And the more tricky thing for yourself is to figure out exactly what class you've got at which specific point. So if you're looking here at Monday period one, it says here I've got column C, and you have to use this code down at the bottom to figure out what column C is. So Tuesday period six and seven, and Friday seven. So that's the class that I had at those specific points when I was in school last. I look, look at my phone, I look at my printed uh, timetable that I've got, or I just remember what I had. I know I had Mr. Walker for geography, so therefore I'm going to that team, I'm accessing that work and I'm issuing the work back to back to him um, to look over. So I then continue that process all the way through the rest of the week. Um, but it is a wee bit more tricky for you to, to figure that out. However, we know you're up for the challenge. Um, and we're really, really uh, looking forward to having you all back in the building next week at some point, whether it's a Tuesday um, or the Thursday, and getting you re-engaged back in your learning in here. However, not re-engaged in learning because you've all been working so hard um, with your remote learning um, for the last couple of months. So really looking forward to seeing you and uh, take care and we'll see you next week, folks. Thank you.